Okay, so far we have been talking about AC fans. There is another parameter that we need to take into account or another part of the fan that is also very important to function properly. In addition to the power cables that we have already been analyzing, as well as their path on the boards, we also have three additional cables that represent the Hall Effect sensor. These cables allow the fan to inform the board at what speed it is rotating and whether or not it is rotating properly. It is a kind of sensor. Now we are going to explain how it works, how it is used, and how to make the appropriate measurements. This is important because if a board tells us that a fan is not working, it may be that, although the fan is rotating, the Hall Effect sensor is not working. In fact, this is something that is damaged quite often. So, how does this sensor work? In this case, on this fan, we have printed on the side what each of those cables means. On one side, we have the yellow cable, VCC, the brown cable, BRN, which would represent the negative, and gray, output voltage. VCC and BRN are the power supplied for this Hall Effect sensor. It is powered by 5 volts, and this is the negative. And the one below is the output pulse that will notify the board as the fan rotates. So, let's diagram this and understand how this Hall Effect sensor works. In reality, it is not a circuit in itself, or in other words, there is not an electronic circuit inside the fan. It is a kind of magnet that is doped in a certain way that allows for a certain notification. In fact, I will explain a little more now, but to be able to understand it. When we talk about a Hall sensor, we are always talking about a sensor made or created through a modified magnet. It works in the following way. To explain it in a simple way, it works like this. We have a magnet that, on one side, is polarized with what we saw was called G and D, which is the negative, and on the other side, we had seen VCC, which represents the positive. So, the positive enters this magnet and the negative also. Inside this magnet, there is a strip of electrons that are circulating through its center. But what happens? When we pass certain metal through this point, what happens is that the electrons move out of place. Let's say they move to this side and allow a positive pulse to exit from one of the sides. And this third one is the V out or the output pulse. Okay, we are talking about 5 volts of direct current. Here we have the negative of the 5 volts. And at this point, we will also have 5 volts every time a metal passes by. But these will be through a pulse. Why? Because this metal will pass by here, but this is the fan that is rotating. If we continue to complete this drawing, it would be something like this. Do you understand? As the fan rotates, each time it passes through these metals, it attracts electrons and allows a pulse of 5 to go out through the output. And with this pulse, then, the board knows that the fan is rotating correctly. Well, that's how a Hall sensor works, both in air conditioning and in other circuits. The way it works is the same, by means of a magnet, we produce an output signal. Well, we have to test this circuit because, what usually happens? Well, this magnet can break, this area can be filled with metal slag. Let's suppose that it doesn't break, but this area is filled with metal slag, which does not allow the electrons to be attracted when the metal passes. Well, all of that can happen, so we have to do a test. Our test will be the following. We will inject 5 volts and see what comes out from here. And we will do that with an LED. A very important detail that we have to keep in mind before is that the voltage input, the negative, and the output are not always printed on the fan. 
there are times when we don't know. In this case, we did know that this is the yellow cable, the negative the brown cable, and the output voltage in the gray cable. In this case, we didn't know which was which, and in fact we have them here with the three colors that correspond. But sometimes we don't know which is which. Sometimes, on the board, there is only a diagram of the following way. And it doesn't tell us anything else. Well, in those cases, first we have to go to the original electronic board and be able to identify which cable is which to then test this circuit. We will do that by simulating that, in this case, it would not have indicated us. Well, we will run a little bit of our plan and measure our pieces. Well, this Hall effect sensor is connected at this point, at this terminal, and in this position. To be able to identify which is the positive and the negative, if we did not have the small diagram on the board, the trick is the following. We put the multimeter in beep mode, which makes a beep when there is continuity. So, we go to the 7805, which is the one that generates the 5 volts, to the right point of the 7805, and see which one it has continuity with. Brown, no gray either, yellow, yes. There we have continuity with the yellow. What does that mean? That the yellow is the 5 volt power supply to the hall sensor. Now, we go to the negative of the 7805, which is both the middle point and the case. And we try again. We try the yellow, just in case, no. We try the gray, no. We try the brown, yes. It is the brown and the positive power supply. And the gray, by deduction, is the return signal. Once the three are identified, we take notes, draw them to be able to memorize. Remember that yellow is positive. In this case, I made a small diagram with the colors and everything. So, you can do the same too. And let's do the test then with a small test circuit. The test circuit is as follows. A 5 volt power supply, a connection to the hall sensor, an LED, and a resistor so that our LED does not burn out. What are we going to do? Power with 5 volts these points. Here I have a power supply to a transformer, which will reduce it to 12 volts. Those 12 volts, then, will enter a rectifier bridge. They will be rectified and produce 16 volts. And from those 16, I will power a 7805, which is the one that will create the 5 volts to power the hall sensor. So, here I have the 7805 powered with 16 volts in direct current, and at the output I have 5 volts. And at the output I connect the hall effect sensor. We will do the following, through one of the terminals that will go directly to the fan, to the hall sensor, we will connect the positive. So, we connect this directly to the positive of the hall sensor, which is yellow. On the other hand, we will have a negative, which will be a more common point that will close the circuit with the LED and towards the fan. And on the other hand, we will have one of the three cables that will go directly to the resistor and the LED to close the circuit, but this will be connected to the signal so that each time the hall sensor sends a positive pulse, this goes directly to the LED and can close that circuit and turn it on. Let's do that test. Let's run the board. We won't need it anymore to do this test. And here we have the LED. Well, let's energize the circuit, always with safety glasses, some fuse for any problem that may arise. 
and we energize. Well, here, as you can see, the LED turns on and off as the fan rotates. There you can see it. We turn off the lights so you can see it better. Well, this indicates that the sensor is working correctly. Of course, when it's going fast, we actually can't observe it because it's a very fast flicker, but the board, the microprocessor, understands that pulse. So, what do we have to keep in mind? The very important detail to keep in mind is that not all fans are exactly compatible. It may happen that we replace a fan and it is not compatible with the original electronic board because some very specific models, for example some Samsung models, send more pulses per turn. So, so to speak, the board doesn't understand the fan, doesn't understand that it's spinning so fast and it will mark an error. Keep in mind that this can happen. But most are quite similar, they have three pulses per turn. Another very important detail, if the hall sensor is not working, the electronic board will turn on the fan at full speed and then cut off and mark a fan error because it does not detect the return pulse. These are very important details. Please leave a comment if you have any questions.